Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, session 47, part 2. I am Ryan, the GM. It's the 8th of May, 2020. Yes, I'm still in pain, thank you for asking. Here are the players. I'm Adrian, I play Arya Bluebird, the half of Druid. John, I play Bastiel, the Wolfforge Cleric. Hey, I'm Scott, I'm playing Crumbar, who I'm pretty sure is still a half heart paladin. Yeah. I am Stuart, I'm the Reach, a half elf monk. Perfect. And, uh, yeah. So we open with, a. Uh, I think, probably Crumbar hitting the ground, right? As yeah. he startles the two folks carrying him as he's head down this autobahn corridor. Carrying him? <laughs> yeah. Each got an ankle. <laughs> he's going boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so Grimber, you can like come to with a bit of a start. Uh, as I've kind of came to, like, you know, vision's kind of clearing up my perception of what's around me there. And I just kind of like stand up and you know that way, like I'm like, I'm patting myself to make sure I've, like everything's there. Like, you know, got my armor, got my weapon, everything. And then I'm just like, look around, I'm like, so we're in a hallway now. <laughs> that was just uh, direct to anyone, by the way. I, I'm just thinking, like, do I tell them about the horses now? Or... <laughs> <laughs> Why do you guys smell like dead uh, horse? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that was strange, strange. Crumba. I, uh, something was wrong with you, and I'll admit. I have no idea, and I, that's, uh, that was outside of my expertise as a healer. You wanna, what, uh, what was that like? How'd it taste? What, what was that? Ryan? Yeah? Do I remember drinking <laughs> the wine? Yeah, you remember drinking the wine, you remember everything that happened to you? Right, okay, no, okay. Everything, yep. Then. Right, cool. Um... I'll be like, hmm, I've had better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told the others not to worry. Didn't doubt you for a second. Nah. <laughs> it takes more than a bottle of wine to end me. <laughs> 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 I just had to slip it off, that's all. Do you want to do a bluff check or...? Can I, yeah, can I? Do you want to roll deception on that one? Yeah, I was going to say. Uh... <laughs> can I see the dread and terror behind his eyes? Yeah. yeah. Screaming black smoke behind his eyes. Mm. Uh, do you want to roll any that would naturally try and gauge how he's doing? Feel free to roll insight if you wish. Otherwise, it's like your passive insight, which you can work out because screw that. Uh, or insight. Um, yeah, I'd be curious. Yeah, so, I mean, whoever's curious can roll insight. Well, oh, like... fuck. Yeah. That's Chad knows I'm lying. <laughs> Adrian knows I'm lying. Yeah. Stuart, you may as well. Yep, yeah, join us. Yep. yep, perfect. <laughs> as well. yeah. So everyone knows I'm lying. I think you're forgetting that, yeah, that totally they're anybody. called the wisdom heavy side of the party, though. That's why. <laughs> 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 well, this game's no fun. I'm going home. <laughs> But you are it's home. Down this corridor. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no way. But no, yeah. Crumbar's going home. But yeah, the. Um, I think whatever the gauge is from that, right? So I think Bastiel, because you were the one that like witnessed everything firsthand, right? You saw him like glug it down and KO and the blood smell, and like, you know that was a lot more serious than he's kind of shrugging off, right? So he's clearly yeah. playing it down. Everybody else just knows that, yeah, it was definitely worse than he is saying, but, like, Bastiel knows it was pretty serious. You just don't know why it was serious. Would I... But from a I... medical point of view, this is, like, somebody that's just had, like, a leg blown off. You'd be like, it's yeah. cool, I'll get you down the shops in no time, don't worry about it. From, from like, natural 20, it's would I pick up any kind of medicinal law from what I'm seeing? Anything that I can use in future? in this kind of situation with that particular fluid? Uh, no, because you don't have any of the fluid to gauge. Hmm. 
Okay. I won't, I won't like, attack his confidence. I'll just nod. And, like, I believe him. Like, you're still... Oh. I think the reason why it's so worrying is because you know nothing... Like, there is nothing... Like... There's no signs of what knocked him out. Yeah. That is why it's worrying. So him going, ah, you know, hangover is... Pah. Takes more than that to keep me down, blah blah. And you're like, this was really weirdly serious though. <laughs> I like the maybe. sorry, Ryan. Um, I like the idea that I've just kind of like shrugged it off, kind of comically, like oh, I'm fine. What you's on about? And everyone just kind of looks at me and they're like, yeah. you're clearly li-. like that. Kind of, we know you're clearly <laughs> lying, but you know, <laughs> okay. Yeah, now they don't have to drag you, so maybe they don't care as much. Mm. Yeah. And I'll just be like, enough about me. What's where are we going? Why are we in this? Where's this hallway? And I'll probably, when I'm saying that, I'm probably looking at. Uh, sorry, I was going to just call you Shan. Uh, Bastille and just being like, kind of like, you're the guide. Mm. Uh, well, so Crumbart, he went out before we knew that this door even existed, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. It was in the room yeah. with the treasure. He killed. We are just the other side of the door, in fact, uh, of the room that they were in. So you haven't missed much. Well, I mean, you've you've walked, what, 30 feet in with Crumbart, uh, dragging mm-hmm. behind you, so you are further than you can see the door. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah, so if Reach says that, that's pretty much everything. I would just uh, be like, I, I like the idea that I've just kind of looked back. I'm like, yeah, sure, thirty feet. Um, I don't think he says that. I think it's just you know, we're just yeah. inside the door, and you look back, and there's you can't see it's too far a corridor to see doing. Um, I'll just say, well, do we know where this corridor leads? Nope. We uh, we were in a rush to save you. Uh, but you're I'm just kind of smart. <laughs> and they're like, well, let's keep pressing on then, shall we? I uh, I did notice when uh, a couple of combat situations back there, you took the time to take care of your horse. Uh, probably go check in with Arya, and maybe your horse. I I wait. I thought Arya was with us. Well, what's that over there? And then I just walk off. <laughs> wait, what? wait. Ir, is, wait. I thought Aria was with us, though. Was she not? Yeah, she's behind. Reach yeah. and I are in front because we stepped through the door. Mm-hmm. These are all no, no. These are all long into the corridor with Crumbar. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. all left behind. You can't even see the door. Uh, and Arya was leading see. because you two, big burly men, were carrying Crumbar. I Okay, right. Well, since I... Right, okay, because that, that's what was confusing me when you're like, you better go check in with Arya. But what, horses, what, like, what Bastille is saying is, yeah, so i seen that you really you had a bit of a relationship with your horse. Mm-hmm. Are you? And then Bastille just walks past. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, it's, I like the he's idea that... He's basically forcing me to give the bad news. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like the idea that he's went, oh, you should probably check on Arya. Area and I've just like as he said that I've just kind of like been like sort like not even listening to him as soon as I hear that I've kind of just like stormed up to Aria and been like that's like kind of looked at her in the eye, like hand on shoulder looked at her in the eyes and like is everything okay? <laughs> King Kong. Hence, what you define as okay. No. No one's like Bastille said I should check up on you. Something about horses. There is a distinct line of horses kinda like, like, nearby. I, I kind of do this thing where I'm like, I, <laughs> like you know, a, a laugh, but it's not my laugh. It's not a happy laugh. And I'm like, um. I would just be like, yeah, you're, uh, sorry, as like you're, char- as you're like kind of laughing, like, did they hurt you? Are you all right? No, they didn't, but we had to, we had to sacrifice them. They wouldn't fit through the door and. We couldn't just leave them there to, in the dark, to be hungry and without water and without light. And so we kind of put it to a vote and we decided that the best thing to do would just be to give them a, a swift, humane death. 
I just can't. Uh, and you see that she's super sad about this. Like yeah. she's not happy. I kind of, I've, I've still like kind of got eye contact with you, and then you just kind of see my fist fly past you and punch the wall behind you, and I'll just be like, "I like that horse," and then I'll just like turn off and just kind of start walking. To be fair, we should have butchered them and just to add to our food, but. Uh, something else. <laughs> I mean, I could go some horse. <laughs> lovely guys. These are so lovely. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like survival instincts, right? Mm. But yeah, I'll just kind of walk on probably ahead since, you know, I've probably scared Aria a bit, I'm guessing. She jumped a little bit, but yeah. just at the suddenness, she's not actually afraid of you for it. Yeah. Oh, no, because I, I wasn't aimed at you. It was just... Yeah, yeah. There was a wall behind you that needed punching. Um, of course. And I'll just kind of... Add wall. I'll just kind of wander <laughs> off a wee bit. Um, obviously, you guys wouldn't be able to te know this, but obviously I'm contemplating over about what Celeste said about hate and violence and... Fun, fun, fun. Just punching a wall, yeah. That's what made yep. it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. come back to me, and that's why I kind of went quiet and walked away. Yeah, makes sense. The yeah. way did you tell us it was Celeste? No, I haven't told you anything. I don't think you've told us anything. I've just said to you, "What are you on about?" I was just hung over. <laughs> okay. Combat doesn't have PTSD. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Like just a, a bloody context. hangover, yeah. <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so. Okay. So are we all just going to just kind of keep going down yeah, the corridor then? Carry on, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. So yeah, you just head down the corridor a bit more. Again, if you pay a lot of attention to like the walls and the steps that you're taking, you probably get quite nauseous, right? Like you're looking at something and then like motion sickness takes you, right? It's not. It's best not to think too much about what you're looking at as you're walking forward. Yep. It's a bit trippy. Um, but eventually you just come up to a like a distinctly wooden panel. Um at the end of the corridor where like you can see like lights coming in from underneath the like kind of the wooden panelling and there's some kind of like pulley at the side next to the wooden panelling. This is maybe after like ten minutes more walking from where you were. Mm. Oh okay. Um So what we're thinking guys, reach out and pull it. Um Probably being stuck in a workshop for a long time and being a robot myself. Maybe, what would I be thinking about this mechanism? Uh, uh, does it look dangerous to me? Uh, it's like a pulley with some rope. And mm. the lights behind, uh, are like, a big, like wooden, violent. a big wooden panel. Like, if the corridor was meant to continue, there's like a big wooden panel in your way. Mm. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Panel, I was thinking a small, like, hand sized thing. Nope. A whole wall. Yep. Um, you know what? Fuck it. Um, because I've probably just still been walking and kind of just been in a bit of a, you know, lucid state, like, not so lucid state, I'd just kind of walk up and just be like, grab the rope in one hand and just yank at it. Yeah. Check him out with athletics check then. Mm -hmm. uh, two seconds. Have three. <laughs> no more than three, though. Yeah, that's it. That's your limit. Absolute maximum <laughs> <of> three. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you um, like unfurl the pulley a bit and just like pull in one big kind of strong tug, and the yeah, like the wooden panel. Like as soon as you kind of unfurl. The pillion, there's a tiny bit of slack as you're about to yank the thing. Um, mm -hmm. Like, 
you can see the wooden panel shift a tiny bit, and then as you like rip it open, like it just like is volleyed to one side. <laughs> Yeet. Um, yeah, and you like the color floods in, right? Because you're gonna see in color again because of light. I uh, and it looks like it was a bookcase that opened up. A what? A bookcase swings open. Oh, but oh. I'll just kind of run in and just be like, Aramos? Is he a full bookcase or is it empty? It is full. Yeah, Yeah, full. Yep. Have a look at one of the books. Any pictures in it or writing? Yeah, just speak Dwarven. Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah. Big Dwarven text on the philosophy of architecture. (gasps) Alright, excellent. Yeah, how how very stereotypically dwarven dwarves. I could get from yes. <laughs> the philosophy yeah. of architecture. <laughs> a dictionary with all the words for stone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the stone for gold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, so you walk yeah. into this room. It's um, how best to describe it. Like, it's a bit like a big kind of two-story library. Um, everything's carved out of like really nice stone it's all obviously dwarven looking in the middle there's a big like it's sunk into the floor but it's like a big brass looking dish like a brazier you could say (laughs) but it's it's huge like a dragon could sit in it huge and that's a big mass of fire in the middle of this room Um, is uh, anyone walking around? Well, and void of life. Assuming you guys are standing still. Nah, Crumbar is like I say, he's kinda seen books and he's just thought about Eremos, mm-hmm. so he's yeah. kinda like So you like run in, you shoot Eremos run, and you, run maybe, in, shout you maybe just hear Eremos, Eremos. Yes. Yeah. But so I still so we're just kinda start looking about, like mm-hmm. searching the place. To see if I can tell find you, them. Yeah, tell you these aren't Eremos's books, they're in Dwarven, so yeah. Also readable. <laughs> yeah, um, yep. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's probably the main point is the fact that you can read them. Yep, and then you hear like the kind of yeah. creak, creak, creak of the door, bookcase thing shutting back over, and it just Still closes. Into the room before it closes. I oh, know. Everybody's in. That was already described. Okay. Everybody's in. Uh, is well, this just a room? Sorry, what exit, Sally? Is it carry on? Oh. It's it's huge. You can't see any exits from where you are. Right, cool. Just a big, hu- uh, big huge, massive two-story uh, you dwarves stone. With such big readers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're they not because there's none of them here. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> empty room in the. Yeah. <laughs> it's where the that books come point. to maybe burn, right? <laughs> is, is, is two stories the same height for dwarves as it is for humans? <laughs> wow, that is the height of rudeness. How dare you? <laughs> Which is about 4.45. Average, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I'll drop my guard now that we're in dwarf territory, and I'll I'll probably, if Reed said that uh, thing about the books, probably look for something on the liquid that we found on on the shelf, see if there's any kind of code. uh, Oh, what's it called? The Dewey Decimal System. (laughs) Well, yeah. Ah, oh, what's it called? Like the little field notes. A book on medicine, basically. I see what a book on medicine. Yeah. Okay, cool. Give me an investigate check as you spend, like, I don't know, like an hour looking around this place for a book on medicine. I'll help him. Yeah. Wait, sure. Reach all of the shelves. Yeah, you walk okay. around and there's like big stone staircases up to other things and brass um, like spiral to staircases. Be yeah. Fair, I'm probably better at medicine than you, but. Yeah, <laughs> bitch. Yeah. He was technically built as a medic though, so. Right. Even if you might have been trained slightly better by a dwarf as well, but these are both technically trained by dwarfs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just a nice one. Alright, never mind then. I thought we could just reach the one shelf and then the rest was on the second floor, like a balcony. But if we can just... No, this is like, run. this is huge, this place. Like, two stories for dwarves is like caverns, right? So... 
Smith. And about Lord of the Rings oh, and Cabin, yeah. where all the we're orcs, talking... the goblins come down to them. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're talking Moria levels of, um, yeah. like, this place is just Vastness. big. Yeah. yeah. Well, all right, then, I say we take a look around. This is a great opportunity for knowledge. Um, obviously, no, I can't say. Obviously, there are things I need to know about myself, and if I'm looking at an archive, a dwarven archive at that, mm -hmm. I'm going to want to look around. Things you need to know about yourself, like where do the batteries go? Because <laughs> <laughs> the something places like, I've found like don't seem to have made a difference. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, strangely accurate. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I'm going to just wander off and start looking. Well, that's the thing, yeah, let's go through it step by step then, right? So yeah, Bastiel... What would you like to go looking for? Like, you only go looking for books. Give um, me a subject. First, yeah, I'll take a cursory glance just so I understand how these things are organized. Like, this is the X section, this is the Y, and I'll just spend my time understanding the layout first before I start looking for something. Hmm. I don't know if it does seem like there is any kind of organizational structure in this. If there is, you can't see it at a glance. Hmm. Okay. Like, it, as far as you yeah. could tell, it could be organised by page number. Oh. So all page ones in the left, top left corner, all page two is <laughs> the next corner. This is the book of every first page of every book in here. <laughs> take, me to page, take me to page three, then. <laughs> There's a full book on page three. So there you go, buddy. That's me um, happy. Yep. <laughs> well, yeah, if I've gone on that little stroll, I'll, I'll look back and I'll say... Um... There's a great wealth of knowledge here. We may as well fill our boots while we're, while we're about. Spread out. That's it. That is a good idea. Yeah, yeah so yeah. Usually tiny. I know, right? I'm trying to get lost in libraries instead of actually searching in libraries, but yeah. That's... <laughs> Sometimes you use them as ways out of the abyss, but yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's... <laughs> um... yeah, libraries yeah, have been touch and go in this game, so... Uh... <laughs> But yeah, so Bastiel, what are you looking for? I need a subject so I can answer questions if you have them. Um, Same with everybody else. So if everybody else has taken time to look for books on a specific subject, let me know them now and we'll deal with that. Um, things on... Uh, uh, what, what, it, like the source, basically. The concept of artificial life. Uh, um, constructing... So the source living. will never have, there will be nothing on that. That's not a thing they'll be able to con, right? Yeah, yes. but I mean like the, the the science behind something like that, maybe... What? Uh... You want to know about neural net programming, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Did yeah, you like, say neuromancer? The idea of <laughs> <laughs> the idea, like artificial life or something like that. Um, Forging a, a creature. What, well, animation basically? Anything in that type of field of manipulating life to turn to bring something, you know, animate something. Yeah. Um, sure. Right. Okay. So, animate the inanimate. Okay. Right. Okay. What about uh, Arya? You gonna go looking for books, or are you not fast? I will be looking for books about. Um, you know, mastering fire, gaining fire related powers, you know, that sort of thing. Um, Can you narrow that down? Because there's you know, probably real, a floor dedicated to that. Pyromancy. Yeah, yeah, but like, kind of like gaining them, fire. not like purposefully like seeking out to develop that sort of powers. Oh, so, spell uh, like being bestowed uh, suddenly, uh, uh, um, you know, and you know how could somebody be considered a master of fire and that sort of thing? <laughs> so she's uh, she's she's quite um, curious still about how the fuck this right, came so, to uh, be. My note, my note to myself um, is suddenly pyromancy question mark. Um, <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's exactly the sort of thing mm -hmm. that, that 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 she'd be looking into. Something that would kind of explain suddenly pyro powers. What? Sure, sure. And but, a yeah. crumber. Um, so, assuming after... you do go looking, I mean, this is up to you. You could also just look for an exit out of here. There is that as an option. 
Um, oh, no, no, no. Dwarf of the Nail is probably one of the best. <laughs> <laughs> That's I have done. Um, yeah, so I'll probably kind of like, you know, run about the gaff trying to find our moth. Being like, well, kind of maybe it's sunk in. I mean, you've definitely not, not searched the whole place, right? This is the point. This place yeah. is huge. So, like, yeah. you tell me what you want to spend the same amount of time they're all going to go looking for specific topics on. So, if you want to keep looking for somebody in here. Oh, no, oh, no. no, no, no. I've got, I've got some. But I think it's that kind of. Can I roll. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Perception to see if I can. I'd realize it's Dwarven that we're in, or would I need to even. I think Reach said that. I've said as in Dwarven language, these books, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that was about the books. I mean, the actual place itself. Uh, it's really yeah, obviously Dwarven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a library of Dwarven books is That's more fine. likely going to be enough. That makes things yeah. easy. Yeah, so yeah. maybe I've been like, oh, this place is Dwarven, kind of. Maybe be like, well, nah, I kind of click that he's, prob he's like probably not going to be here. Um, and as I've said that, as I've, like, that's been said to me. Yeah, sorry. As I've came to that conclusion is when Shan's character has been like yeah um, look, thank you um <laughs> i keep wanting to call him bastion that's the problem um <gasps> i am so Bless me. i'd be like that it's like hmm no like just thinking to myself like well there is knowledge i need and i will go and look for a book about mind control sure yeah whoa nice down to me. Down, sorry, doing mind control or protecting yourself from mind control? Protecting myself from. <laughs> mind control protection. Okay, cool. That's going to be called Where Is My Mind? <sighs> good one. Dee, 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 it's such dee, a good song. Dee, yeah. Dee, dee, and yeah, Reach, if you want to go for a book. Um. Yeah, actually, I'm the only one who remembers what we're here for. Red dragons. Anything about red dragons, right? Cool. Just find out about them. Yep, cool. Uh, in general, red dragons or the red dragon? Ideally, the red dragon. Cool. Yeah, so the cool. the red. Yeah. Perfect. Um, so that book will be called Simply Red. <laughs> the, uh, They're the terrible. Piece, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, these are not the titles of the books because it would be garbage titles of the books <laughs> but um, right, okay um, everybody give me an investigate check individually then investigate yeah Sorry. shit fuck yep cool Sheesh. so who speaks dwarven me me are you? I was just I... checking the draconic and druid. So I need you to roll uh... investigate again because you'd have had disadvantage. Um, disadvantage. Okay, gotcha. Uh... Crumber, you speak dwarven, right? Nope. Nope. Then you roll again, but I don't think it needs to be that bad because <laughs> it's a three anyway, but let's see if you get worse. Yeah, we're curious. That was not a bad roll, by the way, are you? That was pretty good, to be honest. Oh. Enough. Okay. Yeah, I thought so too. So you're at 12 holds, which is decent. Um, yeah, I think you all go off and search, right? So Can I use inspiration? No, you've rolled. Shit! <laughs> yep, you, need to, you, need, you need to use it before you roll, buddy. That's it, it's not a re-roll. Because D&D hates re-rolls, apparently. Um, but yeah, so <sighs> you're wandering around, right? So I think... Bastille, you're you're off looking for something sp very specific that I obviously understand from our character gen conversations, but mm -hmm. anything you're looking at, you get some subject matter. So it's not that you're not finding the the loose subject you're trying to discover, but there's a book on like literally animating inanimate matter, but it's like puppetry, right? Like really basic mage hand bullshit, mm. right? Um, like anime item or whatever the, the actual spell is called um, so there's a lot of that but a lot of it's like temporary fallacy right it's all facade whereas there's crossover with 
people trying to obviously bring back the dead, right? So there's a lot of overlap with the resurrection. Um, mm -hmm. But a lot of the, the books you read are about how heathens will go against the goddess Hela. Right? Hela. Hela. It's sorry. <laughs> because <laughs> it is her domain. Right? I'm going to write that down. Yeah. Alright. I would. <laughs> mm. Um and yeah, it's almost like you get nothing, essentially. <laughs> yeah. Almost. But, you know, you're you're somewhere between wizards playing puppet or the goddess of death according to the dwarves. So mm -hmm. mm. then you've got obviously Arya. Uh, you walk around and you pick up any book that has a, a picture of a flame on it. Basically. How many are you willing to pick up before you return to wherever you want to attempt, attempt to read them? Or are you going to leave them where they are? Because like you don't speak five? to Orvin, so you can't read them. Oh shit, okay, never mind then. Um, I don't know. Like, I'd be trying to look through them and try to gleam a little bit. But maybe I'd pick up, like, maybe three and then put them all on the table and just point and be like, what's this say? And what's this say? Maybe try to figure out. Maybe some of them have illustrations. The ones that have illustrations would have the most. Yeah, it's maybe probably how, as I said, it's... Kind of like the little as thing, I said, the... it's how you've identified books by their illustrations that have fire pictures in them. But that's it. That's, the, that's uh, okay. how you've identified the books. Otherwise, you wouldn't like. I mean, there could just be somebody yeah. burning something. It could be the trial of you know, Dwarfy McBurney face who burnt everybody yeah. he came into contact with. Here's an illustration of him burning someone. You know. That guy sounds awesome. <laughs> Dwarfy McBurney face. Of course. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'll give you a spin-off with him. Don't worry. Um, yeah. But yeah, so yeah, you have a bunch of books you can't read. So you start kind of going through them as you know. There's that. Uh, Crumbar? Yep. If it was any other day, <laughs> a book would have mind controlled you right now and would have had a fight in the library with the party versus you. I feel like that seems to be every other day at the moment. So <laughs> maybe we'll not have that happen. But I just want to let you know that's exactly right. where we'd have went. Um you speak to Orvin though, right? Nope. Nope, then yeah. Like I think you look for pictures of people thinking really hard. Um, <laughs> and I don't even know if I need to go further than that. Right? I feel like, yeah, you can go grab a bunch of books and look at the pictures real good. Um, but well, whether yep, if, these, are, these are pictures. I mean, if you put the books at either side of your head, maybe it would stop the thoughts getting in. Um, la 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 la. <laughs> and yeah, reach. I... You wander around and there are like massive sections on dragons. Massive sections. Um, it's almost like it's been quite a big thing for uh, dwarves. Um, and there is a book called The Machinations of the Engine of Destruction. Yeah. And if you want to add that to your, your inventory, you can take it or you can read it here. It's up to you. Oh, I don't want to read the next list or something. Yeah, sure. cool. And, uh, yeah, so I think that's how well your book hunt goes. Mm -hmm. And that's probably been, I don't know, maybe you don't realise it's been maybe an hour? Okay. And you just all kind of like lean over in different parts of the library and everybody looks at each other and be like, wait, what? Realizing how far away from each other these are, and this place just seems solely lit by this massive fire in the middle. Also, Scott, stay in the game. Uh, I'm sorry, it's just a really funny picture. Um, Don't make me delete chat. Mm. Uh, I'll cry out. You want to find anything? Uh, might have found something about the red they were hunting, uh, looking for, but. I don't know if that was clear enough, but obviously the red is known as the engine of destruction, so yeah, that's yeah. a thing, yeah. That's like its title. Yeah. 
Okay. But I'll have a look at it. Better look at it later on. See if Good. we figure out any hints as to what we're going to do when we get there. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, we're on the right track. The mission goes on. Uh, the rest of the... Oh, Kitty. <laughs> Kitty finding anything? Hey, weirdly, no. <laughs> Doesn't seem that interested in books. Maybe just trying to like piece together those pages she ripped out of the other books, right? Nice. That sounds right. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got this narrative excuse thing down. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'll, uh, I'll I'll probably just be like, you know what? If if anyone here can't actually read any of this, I'm willing to help, and I'll just let go of the search. So for my own reasons. Yeah, I'm free. Yeah, I'll be like very happy to that, and I'll just be like. I'll literally say, like, I'm trying to figure out, does this say anything about, like, suddenly having fire-related powers and master <laughs> fire? And I'm just, like, pointing out to all these books that I've opened at the illustrations, because, like, I'm like, hey, does this yeah, I'll say make... anything about magic and stuff? I'll make my way over. I don't know how far we apart we would have drifted in our... I mean, so, some space apart, right? <laughs> um, just So you just want to spend more time in the library? Um, well, not too long, but yeah. I'll read the, the specific book that Arya holds up to me. Which of the five she yeah. lifted? <laughs> <laughs> or, or no, you know what I'll do? I'll ask him for, like, what do we, all of these titles mean? Yeah, I'll maybe just read I'll them out. figure out one that might have anything important and I might just pick it up and take it with me. Okay, so baking, forging, branding. Oh, my None of them about magic related. Okay. Uh, Where did you find these? And the two other, two other books, um, about absolutely nothing to do with fire. Oh. Or basket weaving, right? And uh, <laughs> and uh, book binding. They definitely yeah, put the wrong covers on those ones. Um, <laughs> I'll look. Really yeah. Also, fuck you for making me name five random books. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be like, oh, never mind. I was hoping there'll be something about fire magic. Oh well, thank you. I'll, I'll put my hand on her shoulder, and my my kind of jaw, or like the bottom half of my face, kind of distends, kind of dislocates. The snake and... is gonna eat you, run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and kind of, if she could see down. I'm, I'm kind of hollow inside, and then it's just roiling, smouldering flames and red lightning coiling around the like in a kind of spherical formation inside. What the hell? <laughs> and then I'll say, and then I'll close my mouth and I'll say, "Where did you find these?" Now vaguely point to the shelves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go. See if I can find anything on uh, fire as it relates to life, like vitality, essence, kind of raw energy and fuel and forgery. Sure. Uh, inspired <laughs> <laughs> by feeling close to knowing something about the mystery behind myself. Sure. Uh, if you want to go off and have another search of <laughs> the stacks, as it were. Carry on. Yeah. What's everybody else up to while he wanders off? Wanders I was off. thinking I could help you, Arya. Uh, look for something if you want. That'd be lovely. Thank you. So I can obviously mm -hmm. speak the lingo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, does that allow Arya to roll with? No. It allows you to roll normally because she can't speak to her. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Same with Investigate. a Bastiel. So you can both re-roll investigate if you want. You know what's going to happen next, right? Not much yeah. better, but it's a bit better. A bit better. Guys, you know what's going to happen next, right? Uh, the whole library's a mimic? No, 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 no. no. I had Arya been tempted. will once again get the curiosity and the interest in learning a language. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> it's a good language to learn, to be honest, right? Um... 
Best well, why, 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 Where's your investigate? Uh, yeah, I was just going to say, is this advantage and I'm using my inspiration? If you're using inspiration, yeah, it's an advantage. Yeah. I figured you would do that this time, yeah. yeah. <laughs> One and a three. <sighs> cool. Well, there was three ones there, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. You're right, and if you add them up, it somehow becomes ten. <laughs> but anyway, so, yeah. I, I think... There's nothing that Reach finds that is remotely close enough to someone being granted the powers of fire or being dubbed Mistress of the Flame. Let's just cut right to the what Arya's looking yeah. for. Yeah. Topic. Mm -hmm. um, there is nothing about a Mistress of the Flame written in any yeah. any any way in any of the books that you are finding. Um, Nothing hints of like a Master of Flame or Lord of Flame. Um, the only reference would be to the King of Hell, which is a blasphemous text because it implies that Hela is not in charge of Hell, single L. Ooh, fair enough. Or dresses up at the weekend. So yeah, right. Or has like a side gig, <laughs> right? <laughs> a hotter side gig. <laughs> Hell double L. <laughs> um, a finger gun there, but you just can't see that. But anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's... You just kind of end up down a blasphemous rabbit hole, quite frankly. Um, oh my. With, the, <laughs> with Bastiel's search, I, you find the... Like a text on fire elementals. Oh, hmm. um, I can read it if it's in primordial. Uh, it's it's in dwarven. Cool. So yeah, it's because dwarf wrote it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's um. Oh really? It's a text about a. <laughs> somebody who tried to contact the primordial plane of fire. Um, Ooh. Because they were convinced that this world is not the only world out there. Holy shit. This person, <laughs> as you skim read it, uh, there is a dedicated to them because this, this book was published by their friend. Because they were murdered for a blasphemy. It's not my uh, maker, is it? No. Okay. It's not. And... How how uh, are elementals a known thing in the world, or is that if so terrible? You would you, well, would, you wouldn't sure... know. Oh, okay, uh, okay. Would you have told us this? I don't told know. We'll, this. We'll, we'll find out in a second, right? Hmm. So essentially, this person wrote about trying to contact other planes of existence and they were convinced there are other planes of existence and because that goes against say you know odin and his plan mm. this guy was essentially killed for like trying to incite religious rebellion Badass. so his buddy published the book for him and dedicated it to him that is sick so there you <laughs> go and it's about um i think it's probably called Let's face it, what's a clever fire name? Probably the Crucible, right? Oh, <laughs> fuck yeah. And that is probably the best name I could have thought of for a, a bullshit witch hunt type. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm impressed. That was, that was a shock. Um, so yeah, there you go. Awesome. So feel free to steal that too if you just want to start like loading yourself up with books. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, man. So Just again, out of curiosity, would mm -hmm. you tell me what you've heard and what you've read, especially the bit about the fire elemental? Uh, yeah, if if we're in a situation where it's like we're chilling, we're... Well, I mean, I it's a bit, in, yeah. it, this has probably been two hours now by the time you search the place for the relevant texts, right? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll do that then. While well, you peruse through a whole fucking dwarven tome. I'll, I'll spend the time that whatever I mean, anyone else is doing... I'll spend that time explaining to Arya the basic gist of sure. what this book entails in Dwarven and translating it for her. Because if I'm not mistaken, Ryan, um, the thing that, that got into my boat, that was a fire elemental, right? You have no idea. It was a fire. 
Oh, I don't know. Okay, don't never know. mind. Oh, what? Sure. Do you, okay. Do you, do you tell me that there's something in your bow? Well, do I, know? I mean, bows don't normally it, just like. Yeah, do you, in fact, it, do you speak it, infernal? There's a better question, Bastille. Uh, let me check. That's a valid, important question before we carry on. Shit. No, celestial. No, that's fine. So, essentially, she says some kind of uncomfortable language to activate her bow. So, hmm. she says a word. It's in a language that makes your skin crawl, which is weird. You don't have skin. And, <laughs> yeah, she, uh, like, her bow catches fire. And it is like a sickly green flame that licks off of the edges of it. So, it's like normal orange fire with the edges all tinted green. So there's copper in it. It's almost like that, yeah. But doesn't copper burn blue? Is it not sulfur that burns green? Yeah. I don't remember enough about chemistry, but I'm pretty sure copper burns bluish. But anyway, carry on. Yeah, it does. So I spiders have blue blood, because it's copper based and not iron based. Go Ryan's brain for sense. Um, <laughs> carry on, sorry. It's because it oxidizes oh. green, that's why you're maybe thinking. That's, yeah. 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 Uh. Anyway, well, you've seen her bow catch things. fire enough times to maybe make a connection with fire and Arya, let's face it. Yeah, I think now I've made the connection with fire and living and as mm -hmm. like fuel for life and mm -hmm. energy, vitus kind of essence, vitality. Mm -hmm. This is a living entity made of flame inside your bow. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll just say bloody hell. And... Single L or double L? Fiery hell, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm just stunned, really. I'd, I'd, I'd be speechless. And I'd just ca continue reading straight from the text. It's really difficult so, if you're trying to read out loud. If you're speechless. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's a good moment. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah. Uh, uh, we don't happen to recognize, um, you know, and obviously I'm referring to the thing inside of me. Showed her. Well, you've showed the, you've shown what? I'm confused. The when I, the like you know the f burning core. Oh, oh okay. That you've got fire inside you essentially as well. Yeah. Okay. I would describe it maybe um, less exactly like fire and more like really angry energy. <laughs> yeah, roiling <laughs> storm. Sure. Okay. And um, then I'll I'll just pick up my bow and very carefully and obviously away from the box I'll be like, Drakaris, mm -hmm. kind of like you show me yours I'll show you mine <laughs> sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. So she Drakaris and obviously you shiver a bit and the bow catches fire and it's got the sickly green tint to it. But it does give off loads of light, right? So the, the lighting in the place shifts a bit in here. Yeah. So she's, be light, but still. she's now probably like silhouetted by this massive briz, like brazier, sorry, I keep saying brazier there, brazier, <laughs> silhouetted by this brazier in the background, this massive like huge flame, and then in front of you she's all like lit with this green tinted light with her bow. Yeah, and I'll explain to him, because obviously I don't know if I ever did, but I'll say like, obviously I didn't always do this, but um... We were fighting a um, thing. I'm not even sure what it was. It just looked like fire and a piece of armor. Um, it was like angry and... red energy. Yeah. Okay. I'll put it that way. Um, like, and and apparently it kept calling me mistress of the flame and telling me to give it orders, and it was attacking everybody but me. But I didn't know because at that point I didn't know Infernal. And um, Infernal. then it just touches my bow and disappears. And uh, and um, suddenly the bow does this when I say this. Oh. And then I deactivate it. Hmm. So, yes, I'm very curious why suddenly somebody could be master of fire and, you know, Especially me. I want to know what happened, so um yeah. That's why I'm I'm very curious when it comes to books and knowledge and things. Learning. 
But obviously not everything that has a flame on it or in it is mm. related to fire magic. <laughs> and I just pointed a book that he he, he showed me. It was <laughs> like, uh, you know, making, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, basket weaving and whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be like, you think you could teach me, Dolphin? Well, you think you can teach me Infernal? Well... She looks at Crumbar briefly. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, oh, Crumbar's taught me, so I think I could. Good luck. Absolutely. We love him to bits, but yeah. Without question. <laughs> so, so now I, I've learned that there's a connection between Infernal and the uh, stuff I've learned in the books. I'm kind of on a bit of a trail here. So yeah, I'll be very interested in understanding more about these words, and I'll, I'll probably ask her like, hey, "Try that on me. Do the word. Say say a word." What? Try talking to my flame. Activate me. What if you die? But I just I did. I like I said, Dracaris. Like that was the word in Infernal. <laughs> yeah. That's all you got. Try talking oh. to Inf just in Infernal. Just talking to him. No, okay, like the, say... the, the flamey thing inside them. Yeah, QE, how are you? <laughs> yeah, literally, I'll be like, um. At flamey thing, how are you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I'll be like, I'll, I'll literally just introduce myself to it. Like, I'll introduce myself and ask, what's your name? Oh. <laughs> are you saying this in Infernal? <laughs> oh, yes, 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 that, that would be exactly what I'll say. I'll be saying, hi, oh, Aria, what's your name? <laughs> I feel like I've replied in general chat, but okay. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> oh goodness, I uh, this. <laughs> Calcifer says, oh, it's, adorable. Um, it's adorable, I love it. Uh, no, there's no like there's no response, there's just the roiling energy that comes from within. Fair enough. But so it seems to be responding to me or just Nope. I mean, as usual. That that doesn't seem to be anything. I am, but okay. can you roll for me history oh, or perception? I don't mind what one you use. Uh, perception, sure. I'll be better. Okay. Cool. Uh, it's the same color as Celeste's eyes. Oh. Okay. It's the only thing. You know what? Ask. I'll tell him that. I'll be like, um, did you know that your fire is the exact same color as Celeste's eyes? Hmm. Well, of course. All my magic is. Comes from her. Oh, you... Oh. I didn't know that. Well, not quite from her. Um, and I'll explain that. Celeste is a vehicle to channel this whatever's inside of me um, and make it useful, productive. Uh, and without her, I wouldn't be able to contain or channel this thing. Makes sense. Mm hmm Yeah. And then, um, yeah, I'd just be completely stunned at how far of a leap I've just made in the last couple of hours on this kind of journey that's been tormenting me for like a hundred years. Uh, yeah, that's about all. All I'd really say. I'd just be thinking, reading. Fair enough. I also I'll relate the fact that you know, whatever energy is in you, it didn't want to speak to me, mm. or maybe it doesn't understand me. I don't know, but I certainly don't understand it. <laughs> we'll get there soon <laughs> enough. Yeah, it looks like we we both have some uh, mysteries we need to sort out about ourselves. Mm hmm. Spud. <laughs> yeah, that's that. So, yeah, but thank you for, and then I, you know, point towards the books and the fact that he's told me what they're about. No, no, thank you. I, uh, it seems Celeste knew exactly what she was doing, bringing us together. Okay, so I kind of like leave those books um, and just make my way to the others to see if I'll be like, okay, let's go then. 
um, mm -hmm. and make my way to where the others are. What are the others up to at this point in time? I obviously, after realizing I cannot read the books, I would probably just be like storming about, trying to look for exits and stuff. Yep, there is two massive, a silvery-looking doors, huge, um, three three crumb bars tall, each of them, <laughs> uh, two crumb bars lengthways wide each door, so they're huge. Um, and they're like the very far side of the, the place. It probably took you like the entire time it took them to like sit and translate and shit. You probably just walked for a straight line and eventually the library ran out and you got to the massive hangar doors, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, I think I would just like gesture to ever like turn around and yell back. would be like, found the exit! Um, and <laughs> as I'm saying that, I'll try and open the door. Uh, yeah, give me an athletics check. Uh, do, 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 do. Mm. Oh, bam! Yeah, it's heavy, but yeah, it, it moves. I think there's no match for a crumbar. <laughs> <laughs> but it is like I a it, like it's, you know, a normal heavy door. Opening it when you roll terribly, this is like the equivalent, right? Even though you know you've rolled well. Yeah. Damn, that's a heavy door. Just like heavy breathing a wee bit as I've like, like finally managed to get this door open. Um, so I'll walk out and have a wee look down the corridor or whatever's there. Could be a corridor, could be a room, I don't know. Uh, yeah, like it leads out into what looks like a fairly large but not qu crazy cavernous like that room was. But it leads out into big tall corridor. Um, just looks like rich people live here. I'm just gonna like yell out, kind of like, is anyone there? <laughs> <laughs> He has a master of stealth, by the way, Crumber. You might have noticed. <laughs> you don't need stealth when you can punch things. How well has that worked out for you so far, Crumper? <laughs> About a seven. Mm -hmm. Out of a hundred. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm not even saying what the number is. I'm just a seven. <laughs> so, yeah. Um. Yeah, how to even explain? Like you just you hear like Crumbar probably from the far side of this room just scream into a corridor. Maybe a bit muffled from where you guys are. Crumbar's just shouting off into like the distance. Um what's everybody else up to as he's wandered off. Mm. Uh, go over and find him. It'd be handy to have somebody speaking a uh, dwarf when he meets someone. But <laughs> Yeah, I would have started reading that Fire Elemental book properly and then looked up once I heard that sound. I was going to say, you'd have been reading whatever you were reading to Arya during that time. Uh, that would have been like your explanation oh, oh, kind of period while he was walking away. Yeah, like there was a lot oh, to wow. compartmentalise, remember? I, or to unpack based on the book. Remember you learned the subject matter, the kind of controversy of the whole thing and the yeah. fact that this, got, this was dedicated to somebody years later. So you learned quite a bit. Yeah. Any cursory, cursory glance, which was you actually taking time to read? As I said, it took about another hour, remember? And in that hour's time yeah. is when he walked away up the, the room and decided to shout out. Cool. Uh... So, uh, yeah, like, Reach catches <laughs> up to you. Um, Donald Crumber, like, do you do anything else? Because nobody comes. You're cutting out there. Is that just me? Am I cutting out for other people or? I think it was just you, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I thought I was coming through fine. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Mm. Um, I'll I'll turn around to everyone and be like, "Are you planning on staying here long? I can go ahead and investigate what's further up." No, no, we'll join you. We don't. I'm. 
I don't think we can take another uh, another one of those wine bottles. There's more wine. No. And I'll rush over to catch up with him before he does something. He's very yeah. chugged. Mr. I see what you did there. You uh, caught him in a logic trap. I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. basically, oh, basically, back. <laughs> yeah. basically we mm -hmm. we all done here guys yeah. area reach. yeah 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 i would say so uh yeah i want to just head out the corridor then and see what we find oh dear gods what indeed do you find yeah so i think yeah. the team start wandering through you start going through the corridors etc i am um, the artwork, uh, artwork, sorry, artwork is distinctly dwarven, right? Um, mm. He thinks we might be an anvil, no um, forge. So, um, yeah, I, let me just edit this out. I need to need to edit something. Two seconds, guys. I need. Is it a pony? Uh, it's. You'll probably like it. Let's let's put it that way. Benjamin. It's not Benjamin. Do you won't like it that much. <laughs> I won't like anything that much. I know. Uh, let's have to make some changes to this. That's you do fun. know that uh, Benjamin eats orcs for breakfast. Uh, no. Dinosaurs do. <laughs> Benjamin is lovely. It's a veg eater, is it? Right? Yeah, just, totally. I think it's just his hope, right? Yeah. <laughs> just completely his hope. Um... Let's see. Is that fine? Is this all fine? Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Sorry, but that's just a bit of mid-game admin. I need to fuck around with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> totally fine. I don't know if I've spelled any of it correctly, but you know what? We'll find out. I, I can now edit this and make this actually... Um, add this back to Crumbar's control. Wait, what were you doing for me? Uh, you didn't have control over your real character sheet for a bit. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Got him. Like, I've had to update a lot. Uh, what? Remove this from your control. Uh, old. And get rid of that and that. And then save. Right, can you close your character sheet? Yep. And open it again. Cool. Just a giant red X over everything. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Just D-E-D. -D. Um, right, anyway, what so, be yeah, be before we, go, before we go into anything, Scott, right, let's stay focused, shall we? Okay. So you just walk down the corridor together. Mm. Uh, obviously, everybody reacted perfectly to the great sword Crombar now has instead of the great axe, but, we, you know, we'll, we'll do all that in post. Don't worry, we'll edit it in post. Oh! Um, we expected cool. oh. him, to be honest. But we've moved on from that, so don't worry about it. It's weird magic stuff. We'll deal with it in post. And um, heading down the corridor, I, you come across a couple of dwarven guards that turn to regard you all. And then they draw their weapons. And then they shout things in dwarven, like, halt intruders to those who speak dwarven. And we fade out for you guys there. However, the camera does that thing where it zooms away up into the sky and then travels mm. all the way back. The camera's a dragon? So the camera <laughs> is in charge just now, Scott. And then it goes all the way back uh, to the mountain that Anvil sits within. And it goes all the way down through the mountain, through layers of various, you know, mountain, and into the arcane Anvil. And then we see at a desk in a, an office with scrolls piled up the wall. We see Ordek Durath moving a bunch of stuff he's just written and wrapped up and putting into a shelf. Then he stops and the camera just sees his eyes close. And he says, I see you have arrived. And he turns yeah. round and there is some kind of silhouetted figure in the background, clearly holding some kind of weapon in their hand that kind of extends behind them. And he turns round. And he, he looks at this figure and we kind of see from behind them this kind of thin black shape. And uh, you just hear a voice say, You let them leave. Why? And then Oradek lifts the side of the desk and smashes it against the wall and 
pulls a fighting pose and the um, the figure leaps forward in a kind of black shadowy speed and stabs Ordek through the chest Whoa. In, into the wall behind him and it cra cracks all the wall so we get the shot of him moving really fast and then just the impact of the face reaction of Ordek like with the eyes going wide and then loose and then the crack on the wall um, as a black spear pins him there what? and we end the session there oh you penis Ryan you hey, absolute <laughs> dick I hate this watch, so man. much so what are we naming the session <laughs> I was thinking fucking okay. I'll put it into Candid Ordak action <laughs> that mom walks in. I don't know, like what that was. That, that just changed. do we, so. Is this like a vision that has come to us, or we don't? No, that, that, this is cutscenes I like to do for the audience, which is also you guys. Okay. Because you're uh, players and characters. Your characters don't know that shit. Dang. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, we'll name it some. <laughs> I mean, that's well, quite long. That one. But... How about, so, I have a suggestion, right? My suggestion is, if I can actually spell it right, because I really can't have the right keys. What about between places? Ooh. I don't know, it's very on the nose and I like it, but, yeah. I like it. Um, because you all are kind of between places, right? Yeah. Like, Reach is the most on point currently. Because... He's still pushing forward, right? Bastille's kind of got lost in his own many quests, gone, oh, Dwarven Library, I can learn more about my thing. Arya's like, oh, big giant fire, I could be that. Let's go look at it and maybe learn about this Mistress of the Flame stuff. And then obviously even Crumbar was a bit like, yeah, what, 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 what's going on, guys? Let's, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. That is where, if yeah. I was going to vote, I would vote for that personally. But obviously, mm -hmm. I suggested it, so it's, it feels like a given. Any other suggestions? I'll put that. I like Dwarven Keep books. I do like it. Um, I just kind of prefer to between places. Because I feel like if I'm trying to remember what episode this is, I'll remember it with between places. Um, cool. I, right, let's have a look at goals. Any, any update on goals for me, guys? Uh. Don't think so. Um, Crumbar yeah. didn't die. <coughs> Are we yeah. in the fort? We, is that a goal? We... You don't know, but we I mean, to the fort. who knows, right? Um, I mean, investigate who or what the mistress we kind of did, but we haven't actually found it in the boat. So that's the thing, right? Let's talk about that because that's probably valid, right? So investigate who or what the mistress of the flame is. There was no progress made on actually getting an answer on that, right? Mm -hmm. But it's not to say that these aren't at least a step ahead, right? Yeah, yeah. But you don't have an answer for that yet, so it's not complete. Does that make sense? You just mm -hmm. know a couple of things more that it isn't. But 100% there's finally progress made on that in some way, even if it's ruling stuff out, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, so we know the dwarves have nothing to do with it. I mean, yeah, you can make that assumption if you wanted, yeah. yeah. Uh, I will say, though, I am just for the sake of um, admin for next week, uh, get to Forge Safely is complete, right? Just for the sake of metagaming yeah. that so that it's free. So cool. do you want to dump that over to the completed list? Yeah, I'll do that. Who's green? Is that our, uh, Kitty? Kitty, yeah. Cool. Well, somebody take point here. Kitty gets inspiration. <laughs> Well done, Kitty. Yeah. Did so well. <laughs> yep. Uh, these are all level six, right? So that means six hundred XP. Yay! Cool. Let's make sure that's added to the sheets. When is like the next level up? Then we're like twenty-one. It's in twenty-three. Fivey rules has that table somewhere. Yeah, at the top. Uh, where is Kitty's right. sheet? Let me have a look for Kitty's sheet here. <coughs> uh, Alright, what's the final? 20, 23. So it's just 19.6, isn't it? No? 19.6, yeah. yeah. Cool. I've added that one. They're nearly there. Um, yeah, it's 23, isn't it? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, not bad, right? Keep completing goals and keep fighting crazy stuff beyond you, yeah? <laughs> um, Sweet. So there's that. Anything else on the goals list? Have we got an immediate replacement for that yet, or...? Um, I could make a point out of, like, teaching... Uh, uh, um, teaching Bastiel, Bastiel, Infernal, and me learning Dwarvish from him. Yeah. Uh, That's kind of like two goals in one, though. I was going to say, it can still be two goals in one. You just can do a, a language trade thing. I trade. don't mind doubling it up. I am just for the yeah. sake of saving trade languages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trade a language. That's I think that's valid. It'll be the same type of mechanics as we made you and Crumbar do, but it's obviously we'll have like a teaching role and a learning role from each. So yeah, could do. Uh, I feel like my thing is still very um, amorphous, so I probably can't put a concrete thing on that achievement. Find out who the vampire is, and get the dwarves oh, to help shit, me set yeah. the door. I, st I still wanna keep out, keep that one going. Oh um, yeah. Shit, we should have looked for that information on that guy. We totally bloody should have. <laughs> <laughs> just say to the dwarves. Sorry, mates. Uh, could you just give us a hand in the library? Uh, <laughs> we stole from. Yeah, like, we totally didn't steal books from this library, which, please don't go through our things without probable cause. However, uh, yeah. But yeah, aim to get a suggestion for goal three, then. Um, we'll just want it worded as just now, because keep in mind, we'll review it at the start of next session anyway, so... Mm. If you just have something now, put it in. Uh, I thought you were going to go for trade languages. Was that not what you wanted? Yeah, no, oh, I thought yeah. that was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There's two empty spaces now, aren't there? Uh, currently no. Because uh, get to the forge and ah uh, shit, what was the other one? Nope, there are one. There are only one goal being completed so far out of the five. Oh Can't... yeah, okay. Like, if you join us in the gold sheet, you'll see. Uh, yeah. I also don't see any goals being added, so... Alright. Okay. Oh, well, I think I know how oh. to word it. I... Yeah, I mean, if unless there's something better to choose right now, I think the... Language? The language mm -hmm. traits would be a good one, but... Yeah. Yeah. Are you in Bastille to trade languages? Yeah. Don't you want to do anything to do with like your grand awakening? Ah, I still need to think about that. <laughs> I feel like that's more of a goal than. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah that, Have you had a I chance thought... to look over your grand awakening? <laughs> mm. Um, that's a bit of a personal question. Yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> no, nah, like I say, I'm gonna go away and have a good hard think about that and be like, hmm. Yeah, heavy, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I was. I've actually thought of some other ideas for the goal sheet as well, but I'll talk about that after the camera. Yeah. Have you read uh, your new thing, your new great sword? No, not yet. I thought we were doing that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I'll wait until we've reviewed everything. Obviously, it was just while people were mm -hmm. updating stuff. Is there anything more about goals, guys? No. Good. <laughs> so we're still happy I with. I think that's us for now, at least. Just to catch everybody up who somehow still cares about goals that's listening at home. Get word to GGW about Gil, investigate here what the mistress of the flame is, Aryan Bastel to trade languages, and the assumption would be Dwarven and Infernal. Uh, get the mm -hmm. dwarves to help the Citadel, and find out who the vampire is. Happy with all those? Yep. And obviously we can mm -hmm. review them yep. if there's any changes or if Kitty has any opinions. Yeah. We can have a look. Good. Uh, we will move on then to our wrap up chat. So I'm probably going to leave Scott to the end. But I think I would like to start <laughs> with a uh, reach. First time we've been in a library, not got lost, and actually decided to look at some books. Right? Yeah, you've actually yeah. researched. <laughs> 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 Only took forty-seven <laughs> sessions. Quite interesting. <laughs> hey, we're learning. <laughs> oh dear. It's a totally new way of using libraries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who'd have thought this is where they put knowledge? 
to be gained yeah. at a later date. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Eremos probably would have loved this place. I am. 100%. Oh, goodness, yeah. yes. Cool yes. Movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, yeah, cool. Just I just get a chance to read this book now, though. That's the only thing. But yeah. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, Dwarven Guards. Hmm. It'll be fine, right? Dwarven Book and Backpack. Mm. Yeah. Honest, I had it before. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, keep in mind, you do have that. Here's my official letter to to be here. Yeah. Letter signed by Oradak Darath, right? Yeah. So that'll be fine. Who's got that, by the way? So you are, you? Yeah. Actually, I think it's Crumbar. It's Crumbar or Kitty, but I think it's Crumbar. Because Crumbar traded the jug for it, so... Yeah, the, the letter yeah. is me that has it. Yeah, I think Probably Kitty's is, got yeah. the proof letter. The This is Demon Ash. Mm -hmm. She's got that. But uh, he has the... Yeah, because it was those people that traded stuff. So yeah, yeah. that's who has those. Cool. But yeah, um, Bastille. How's... Uh... I liked how um, I didn't want to force uh, kind of what my character understood about himself and things kind of just came together. Like mm -hmm. we all went, we found out, we found out into the library and looked at different topics. And it was a swing and a miss at first for me, but then it just so happened that I uh, picked the right path. That was good for me as well. Mm -hmm. And it was cool just things falling into place like that and having that character development with Aya. As well. Yeah, it's like a nice kind of mutual crossover in your interests, isn't it? Like, <laughs> yeah. who, what has power or mastery over a fire? Let's go discover that together. <laughs> good, good. I'm glad that happened organically and it wasn't forced. It was mm -hmm. really cool. Yeah. Sweats like over here too. in GM, sure, organically. <laughs> 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 yes, no, it was, yes, it was good. Mr. Master manipulator, yes, thank it was you. Good. How do you <laughs> That's not a compliment. But yeah, um, it's a. Uh, it is! It's just sometimes nice to be able to like deliver right on stuff like that, mm. um, especially when people rule poorly. Um, it's nice because it gives you guys, you learning stuff out individually doesn't progress the overall bonding experience, whereas you failing and having to then help her and then realizing what yeah. she's looking into might have effects on what you're going through, is cool. Yeah, um, really cool. yeah that was pretty good. That was my deal. <laughs> Sweet. Also, you finally get to see a bit of what my RP is like beyond combat, which was nice for me. Because you kind of started <laughs> yeah. with a bit of a RP and then we pretty much had combat for quite a bit. Um, I like combat. Mm -hmm. That's true. So, yeah. It's a false advertisement. They're probably none for like at least 10 sessions now. But like, <laughs> that's just how it goes. Um, it also gets quite deep, the RP can sometimes. I, can I check? Because I've moved away. I've, I still had a headphone on, but I, I was away from my laptop for a moment. Is it 19,600 that we, we should be on right Correct. now? Correct. Yep. Yeah, nineteen six uh, zero zero. Yep, I should probably type mm -hmm. that into my my notes here as well, so that I keep track of that. Six hundred was awarded. It's nineteen six zero zero. Is total cool. But yeah, uh, anything else you want to add, best deal? No, that was all pretty cool. Uh, d -d -d yeah, that was about it. Cool. Well, hopefully, you are still enjoying your journey with us as our newest member. Um, oh yes. Good. I'm glad. Um, <laughs> are you? <laughs> um, well, I had a very interesting uh, session because obviously I was very much like, oh god, we're dealing with the entire crumbar thing. Mm -hmm. Oh my, the horse is not the horse. Oh yeah, that was it. That was and... another amazing moment. I'm so glad that happened because that was crazy. <laughs> but you're glad we had to kill the horses. I'm glad you had to make a really tough decision as a druid. Like, that psychological interaction was... <laughs> I was on the edge of my seat. I was like, "What's mm -hmm. going to go down here?" <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Part of me was tempted to just be like, "Well, fuck this! I will try to push them through the door, even if they take the living <laughs> Yeah, I was like, "Is she dead ass about to do this?" So. Can we not but just then I was like, <laughs> "I don't know what comes next. Like, what if the next thing is going to be like four seater? You know, like." <laughs> No, 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 no. I was thinking, like, what if the next bit is going to be, like, us in caves with very narrow paths that only, like, one person can go on at the time? And I'm like, what if there's, like, a ravine or something and they fall into it? And, yeah. you know, that's much worse than, you know, purposefully giving something a, a, a swift and, and, and sudden and, and, you know. <laughs> Not painless. 
Well, you, you <laughs> no, I don't know. I've never been stabbed in the heart or whatever may have happened there. Punched in the um, horse. Yeah, I've never been punched in the horse before. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so that was quite sad, and then also quite interesting to see again the the, the interaction with um, with Bastio because you know big armor. I don't know exactly how to to express how 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 Arya sees him because obviously she's all into natural stuff and mm-hmm. that steals anything but. Um, <laughs> yeah. No offense. Um, and um, but you also managed to, to draw a connection with and Celeste be like, as well. Okay, we, mm-hmm. You also drew yeah, a connection yeah, with Celeste, him, which is cool. Yeah. yeah. Um. That that was really really interesting. So I I enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, okay. I'm talking too much, so I'm just gonna stop myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, please keep going. Tell me more. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah so if if the, if you're happy there, are you? Then we'll we'll go to Crumbar, shall we? Yeah. I like the part where I didn't die. Sure. I think maybe part of you maybe died though. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Um, honestly, mate, I'm just super proud that I thought to stand up. Right? I was so yeah. happy. I was, honestly, it was so early on as well. And I'm like, do you know, he did it. He stood up. <laughs> you know, it I'm might like, seem like a big deal, but, you know, it was literally like, oh, I hope he gets this and I don't have to just, like, feed it in. Cause, yeah, because yeah. I was like, right, nah, this, this, this is clearly, because I'm like, the place I'm in isn't real. I'm in my mind or whatever. I'm like, you see I'm falling, but what will happen if I just try and stand up? Mm. And I was like, oh my god, it worked! I'm a fucking genius! <laughs> genius. And then I was like, shit, now what do I do? <laughs> um, yeah, how was that for you, that whole bizarre um, between places was, place? It was like getting a lobotomy with a corkscrew. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But and how was it for you? <laughs> <laughs> um, good. Good ones are kind of. It was just like right. This is the decisions I make here are either going to result in either a getting out okay or b turning into a mushroom. Mm-hmm. So I'd rather. Weird, that's what it says in my GM notes as well. Like everything's okay or crumbar mushroom. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, I mean, crumbar is a spore big... druid, though. Hmm. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, yeah, that's, that's a point. Like, are your orcs born from mushrooms in this? They are not. Uh, <laughs> oh man, sadly. Mushroom, mushroom. Um, um, stay on target. Oh, yeah, that's old. That's retro as fuck. I know, right? Um, just, yeah. yeah, no, I just my brain hurts. I'm gonna need a beer and a lie down after this. <laughs> do you to go? Maybe read your new thing now, or do you want to keep it to oh, yourself? Oh yeah, right. Uh, new thing. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, oh wait, there's footnotes for it and everyone. Ooh, so it is called the Quill of the Phoenix. It is a great sword. You gain a plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls with this magical weapon. I like this so far. With while well, the sword is on your person, you also gain a plus one bonus to say. I really like this sword. Hmm. So While it's, it's on your person, what? Saves. You, you also gain a plus one bonus to saving throws. Oh. I might do all this shit. Uh, <laughs> there's a thing called Fated. If the sword is on your person, you can call on its ability to alter fate. No action ah, required. To re-roll point. one attack roll ability checker. Wow. Yeah, a lot point. Uh, you must use the second roll. This pri- uh, this property can't be used again until next dawn. So it's a daily power. Ah, okay. Ah, right, okay. Um, the sword has alter fate. The sword has one charge while holding it. You can use it as an action to expend one charge and cast the wish spell from it. What this, the fuck? What's the wish spell? This property the can't best be spell used. in the Wait. world. Well, this property can't be used again. Yeah. Dude. So, like, ever. Wish. You get yeah. one wish. Benjamin, to be real! I'd be careful. That so can, that's that's actually within the... That could I'm, I'm literally looking yeah. up wish right now. 
That's whatever Where's, you want. Wow, wow, wow. Wish is the mightiest spell a mortal creature can cast. By simply speaking of <laughs> you can alter the very foundations of it. Yep. Wow. You can only do something that wouldn't cost more than 25,000 gold, though. So you can't be like, I am the emperor of the world. It's and not I true. Own You've not read the rules, then. Hmm? Wish has two primary functions, right? There is, here is the safe ways to use Wish. And then there's the second option. The safe ways to use Wish are you can create something like worth up to 25,000 gold or something like that. and mm -hmm. Or you can recreate any spell level 8 or lower without any components required. Well, any yeah, I mean, spell. Those are the safe options that don't mess you up. The other part of Wish is anything you can say to the GM and then the after effects than, of that. Yeah, other than ultimate wishes. But yeah, that's, yeah, that's the only limit. You cannot yeah. wish for more wishes. But the rules are the very specific on, on Wish. The only time I've ever seen someone use that is something like, they'll say, I wish to be the King of Dragons. And then they wake up and they own all of the inns called the Dragons or something. Like they own the chain. Hey. That'd be okay. Yeah. 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 It's, 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 it's still <laughs> reasonable, yeah. <laughs> Owning them doesn't mean you say you have to run them. So, yeah. But, yeah, we, yeah. Wish is... um, Yeah. But it's clearly him altering fate. So that's what he gets. He gets to alter fate once. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, Crumber. I'm literally speechless right now. The possibility is <laughs> running through my head. Yeah. And do the best thing Every about river. it is, yeah, it's going to be... Every river's made of wine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the only it thing I would say as a, a thing is that power obviously being a one-off doesn't guarantee what you wish for happening because if you say something that somebody else more powerful doesn't want to happen it's unlikely to happen I am so glad you said that yeah right but for example if you said let's say all of the land to become marshmallow but the god of land sat up in you know the uh, the overworld it's like, uh, wait a minute, that's my stuff. They could just auto block that because gods, you auto -block. know. It's also kind of why yeah, gods roll out, but um, yeah. so it's also why the wizard king hates gods, right? Because he's like, but I I earned all this power. You just don't get to tell me what I can and can't do. Why, why, why do you just get to he's gods? He's Rick C one thirty seven. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think that's the first time he's been compared, to be perfectly honest. I think um, when I was telling somebody else about this world, we they got actually said... No, like, legit somebody else has uh, compared um, uh, Magna to Rick. Uh, so I guess yeah. shout out to Cameron, mm -hmm. if you're ever listening um, <laughs> for that as well. Um, yeah, Crumber, anything you'd like to add as part of your wrap-up chat? What, to the world right now? No, because we're not in game just now. That I'm going to leave you for a week worrying about that spell, so... Oh, man. Oh, no, this is going to be like... Like, I wish to be the GM of the game! <laughs> um, oh, goodness. At the GM's discretion. I'm like, I could use this for such... Hey, guys, things. I'm one campaign less I have to worry about, so uh, I'm free in Fridays, too, if you want to switch campaign nights. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, yeah. It's alright, isn't I'm, it? It's, it's I'm, pretty good great sword. I'm looking forward to using it to hit things. Yeah, in it's the base. an absolute bitch and great sword. I'll try and see if I can find art I have in mind for it, right? I am um, as well. It's just I kind of wasn't expecting to need this as quickly. I um, so yeah, there you have it. But maybe it just gives you an idea of the level Celeste's on, right? Maybe that's what yeah. it gives you. Mm. I also kind of like ah. Oh. Was Celeste in my head? Right. Hmm. Maybe that's why there was a brief change of venue, right? That bright white space, and then suddenly back to black smokiness. Yeah. Anything else you're gonna add, Scott? Or are we all good? Uh, no, I'm all good here, bro. You're welcome. And uh, good. I'm so sorry to everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Because who knows what Crumbar 
is going to say because keep in mind it's going to have to be how Crumbar understands the power because it isn't just mm. instantly Crumbar knows he has like the wish text it's going to be Crumbar knows about the ability to alter fate right like you know oh, the so I am never <laughs> ever going to be able to drink during a session ever again <laughs> Because you know you're going to wish for something dumb. I will wish for us to all be uh, bards on a touring adventure of the land. Um, have you read the downsides of what happens when you wish for things not as part of the wish spell? You should probably do that. Cause it... that, are, that are what, sorry? So, read all of wish when you can. Mm -hmm. Because it's probably really important you understand the consequences of wish. <laughs> And I don't mean you wishing for everybody to be a Benjamin. I mean, when you say that, it's then what wish does to you. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. So wish has a bad effect. So no ma right, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so the spell won't know what you're thinking, so you have to say the exact words. Oh, yeah. Hail a year. Mm -hmm. So let's bring it up again. I'll just open up wish. After... In is it the stress of cast the yeah. yeah, the stress of casting a spell to reduce any of it. I've got them duplicating it. Oh, it's a read on here. What the fuck? <laughs> so Great it's day. it's a I mean it's a level nine spell. It's nine D ten. That be bad, yo. Strength. Your strength drops to three. If it isn't three, and it's flats for two d four days. And uh, you need to spend days resting and doing nothing more than light activity to actually start reducing it by two days for every day you rest. And so you'll need at least a week's worth of alcohol. Yeah. yeah, so it's not something I'll be able to cast during combat then, basically. Oh, well, the, the spell, the spell the is, but yeah, it would, uh, it would definitely end your participation in combat. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, yeah, and nobody really. else would necessarily be affected depending on what you wished for. Also, finally, there's guess. a 33% chance that you're unable to cash, uh, cast Wish ever again if you suffer the stress, mm -hmm. which means there's a like a one in three chance of you, even if somebody gave you a hat of infinite wishes, you wouldn't be able to use it. Damn. Right? I mean, I've only got one charge as well, so... But what I mean yeah. is if, if, let's say you find yeah. a second sword in line, it would be useless that way. Oh my god, you're weird, great swords. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god, you could wish for that, like a new mechanic. I wish to dual wield Don't. two hands. Don't <laughs> this is when every day during the head. week volleys Scott with Betagon. What if you wished for this for us? And really, <laughs> us means me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to be like, yeah, you should get a fucking helicopter blade on your head. Like <laughs> That's what we need for Crumbar. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah. This is almost... I think the way to try and in character think about this is how much faith Celeste has in you as Too much. The, as no, the no. correct crumbar not the crumbar you became right see the thing is though the problem Celeste is doing is she can have as much faith in crumbar but Scott at the end of the day is behind the wheel yeah yeah right and yeah. I mean she did say right violence isn't exactly a problem she has it's what you do with it, and if it's from hate, right? Um, like, I mean, keep in mind, if she could interfere, right, she'd probably, like, go mess up some demons if she could, right? Yeah, right. She just can't, because she's not of the world, as she said. So, yeah, there you have it. Um, if you've got nothing else to add besides awe at your new sword, Quill of the Phoenix, then, yeah. I'm Harry Potter, motherfuckers. I, um, yeah, Crumbar and the Quill of the Phoenix. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, thanks every day for playing. That was an incredibly fun session for me to be able to lore bomb everybody. That was really yeah, fun. Yeah, my brain is overwhelmed <laughs> um, like right now with everything that has happened. And I look forward yeah. to next time. So say goodbye, everybody. Bye, Bye everyone.